go on to the next step, which is creating a new deal. Now the deal will have the same name as the client itself. So we need to search to see if there's already a deal with the name Scott Stapp. As we can see, there's not. So we'll add a new deal. Scott Stapp. And we need to make sure that this, the status is active. The deal type, we're going to set it to buyer rep. If this were a tenant, then we would send, set it to tenant rep. So we set it to buyer rep. And then we scroll down to criteria. And this is where we'll paste the link that we the link that we just copied from the Google Drive. This file is linked here. Okay, that's all you need to do for the deal. Not nearly as complicated as creating the new contact. Once you add the new deal, we'll have to relate it or link it to a few things. So let's click on related. And let's go to people. We need to relate Scott Staff as the contact. So relate a contact. And then type in the name Scott Staff, the client who we're doing this deal for. And the relationship should be prospect buyer. Of course, if you were a tenant, we'd do prospect tenant. But this is a prospect buyer, okay? That's all you need to do for this. Relate this contact. Press that. Good to go. Finally, let's go to groups. We're going to edit the group membership. Okay. There are three groups that we need to um, we need to group this deal with. Oh, pretty much always three groups for the PCC. The first one is active because is an active deal. Scrolling down, we know that he is a buyer. So we're going to add that by pressing this right arrow. And then lastly, he's buying offices, as you should remember from the property specifications. So click office buyer, press this arrow and it'll come over. So these are the three related groups. If he were buying industrial property, then he'd be an industrial buyer. But here's an office buyer, so we'll click Save. 